Well, tens and thousands of South Australians suffer from depression and while we all have our ups and downs, serious forms of the illness should not be left untreated. Medication's often the answer, but tonight, world-renowned author Dr Sandra Cabot shows us an all-natural way to defeat that darkness. And Paul Macon looks at how it's worked for some Adelaide sufferers. You don't want to live, but you're too frightened to die. Smothering, sinking, it's, it's debilitating. There's a real sense of despair, of having no future, and you, you hope life will pass quickly and the years will pass quickly so you can just, you know, quietly die and, and just be out of it. It's something you don't just snap out of. You can say to that person, snap out of it. They don't know what you're talking about. They don't even know they're depressed. And it can happen to any one of us. Depression, I would describe as being worse than any physical illness. Depression has been called the most common ailment of the 21st century. Yes, it is. And something amazing, Paul, is uh, every third person that walks into a pharmacy has a prescription for some type of antidepressant drug. It's so serious, it affects a sufferer's family, work or school life, sleeping and eating habits, general health, and in worst case scenarios, it can see a person taking their own life. Going into this very deep uh, sadness that I could not see my way out of, and quite suicidal. And I was hospitalised twice with suicide um, attempts. While many medicos quickly write a prescription for drugs, antidepressants, there are those in the know who say there's another way. There are other ways of treating emotional illness, which is depression, anxiety, lack of self-esteem, panic attacks. And we'll tell you how to get depression on the run with some happy foods and natural supplements shortly. All right, Phil, have a seat. Thanks, sir. Dr Sandra Cabot started out as a GP obstetrician and gynaecologist but became better known as an author when her book The Liver Cleansing Diet became a worldwide bestseller. And that amazed me because I thought that the average person wouldn't be that interested in their liver but I've got to say I think Aussies are party animals and they get a bit worried about their liver <laughs> they think oh I better look after a little bit undo some of that damage. And there's been many, many more after that. But now her latest book, Help for Depression and Anxiety, promises hope for sufferers everywhere. I'm amazed that people know so little about depression and anxiety, uh, either in somebody else or themselves. They don't recognise it because it can present as chronic fatigue syndrome, muscle pain, incredible fatigue, sleeplessness, and the modern thinking medico can already see the book's pages coming to life with three of her patients. I had this very nasty sensation running all through my body. I just didn't know what it was. Helen Hayes crashed into depression two years ago after a full hysterectomy and major surgery to remove a uterine tumour. So I went home and I just never picked up. I never got better. Um, I just felt lousy and despite what supplements I took and whatever I tried to do I just couldn't pick myself up. You're swimming in a sea of treacle you just it's just an impossible way to live. Wendy Perkins was a long-time depression sufferer. Very hard for people to understand what depression is because the the advice I've been given over the years will pull your socks up you know you, you've got through this you can do it again you'll be right you'll be okay but you're not. You put on a mask you can pretend to other people that you're happy, but on the inside it's different. On the inside you're breaking. Bev Murray is a nurse, but also another great pretender when it came to being happy. I was on antidepressants and I stopped taking those because I didn't like feeling dull. I just felt like a blanket was over me. All three women were on one antidepressant or another, but it wasn't until they made an appointment with Dr Cabot that they saw a light at the end of the tunnel. Within about five minutes, she said, you have two of your brain chemicals, which um, 
aren't at a high enough level, you've got a dopamine deficiency, you've got a noradrenaline deficiency, you have a depressive illness. And I was stunned and shocked and hugely offended and I considered walking out. You've got to have the chemistry right. If the chemistry in your brain is out, your brain will be like a flat battery. By taking a holistic approach, Dr Cabot has had amazing results. It only took four days to make me feel so much better. We make the, the happy chemicals in our brain from amino acids, so protein. So what are the alternatives to those antidepressants with their possible side effects? Tyrosine, which is an amino acid that's a precursor to dopamine. And it can be bought across the counter. There's also another amino acid called tryptophan, but to get effective doses of that, you do need a doctor's prescription. Fish oil helps big time. And the humble cackleberry is a real depression fighter. Eggs are fantastic as a happy food. They're full of all the things your brain needs. For Bev, it was a humble cream called progesterone that transformed her life. Just a simple little cream. You get made up at the compounding chemist. You rub it on your arm every day and that's it. You feel great. It makes a huge difference. The mood swings are gone. The PMS is gone. I look forward to life. It is just miraculous. And with all her natural tendencies, Dr Cabot is not anti-antidepressant drugs. Antidepressants are good drugs, they help a lot of people, but if we can minimise the dose, that's good because then we get less side effects. Now I'm on tyrosine, which is an amino acid and a protein, no side effects. For Helen, Wendy and Bev, Dr Cabot's ability to think outside the square has literally been a lifesaver. She's my god. She, she really is. She has saved my life. That's a big statement. She has saved my life. For the first time in my life, and I'm 65, and I haven't felt so well in my, ever since I was a young girl. She was able to help me whereas no other doctor could. Never give up. Never give up because it can be a very simple thing that you're missing. Life's like a jigsaw puzzle, particularly when it comes to your health. One or two pieces missing that we can put back and it becomes so much easier.